goodness, your father, why don't you have him back? Hey, let's go. Oh, uh, he's gone on a tour. He'll be back someday, soon. Senor Samuel. Uh, I've been expecting you. There's a bit of white there, too. Old X photos. They're made of tin, covered with silver. Old X photos? And I'm sure with them they'll be new again. How often should I tell you? Perhaps you never listen to what I say. They must never look new. I want you to be careful with these X photos. But don't polish them like you did those candlesticks last well, time. Don't they look better when they shine? Listen, you must never polish articles like these. But did you hear me, yes or no? An antique object should never have a polish on it to have that antique look. I'll do all I can to please you. How much will you give me for doing this work, Senior Samuel? Like last time? Yeah, there are only 20 pieces. Make it a thousand lira forfait. Each piece, is that what you mean by forfait? Forfait means you'll do the whole job for a thousand lira, and that's even too much. And don't keep mm. me waiting this time. If I finish them in three days, that too? Yeah, but no more than that. I'll need them on Tuesday to sell to a tourist. Don't worry, Senor. Give me a receipt, because I want you to learn to do things proper, business-like. Here, write this down, right? Received from Samuel 20 X photos that I promise not to make shiny. Underneath, you have to put your name. That's it. But then you ought to give me your signature, too. It's business-like. Mm -hmm. 
No chocolate fudge? Ah, and chocolate fudge, you're right. I know, it's your favorite. First we start with vanilla and peach, and then fudge and chocolate. How are you doing with the marionettes? Not bad. There you are. Bye, Giacomino. Bye. didn't have to hurry back. I told you. Autism? Thanks very much. When we're old, cold things are bad for us, you see. And you, Giacomino, instead of eating nice as you should eat lots of meat and beef steaks, you know that? You must eat meat to be strong, you know. Daddy wants me to eat meat, but I don't like it much. I can't eat it, because I'm never too hungry. But you gotta eat to have strength, you see, my Giacomino. I have strength, like Samson. Beef steaks will make you stronger than he was. How about a sample now? Yes, Samson's strength. Let's have a little strong arm. I'll bet she'll defeat you. What do you bet? Well, we'll bet what you want. Being that you say you're strong as Samson, why hesitate? Bet all that you can afford. So what will the wage be? How much? Two hundred. Two hundred, huh? All right with me. You ready? Get yourself a good grip now. Don't worry All about right. my grip. If you win, I'll give you five hundred. I win. Oh, I would never have thought. Admit it, son. I wasn't very easy. Be honest with me, son. Was hard, huh? No, I don't want it. What's the matter with you? The victory is yours. You made a white turn, you won, didn't you? Yeah, but what if you just let me win then? What are you talking about? What for? Why should I do that? But would you swear you didn't make me win before? Swear on the Madonna. Even on the Madonna. Uh, I swear. All right, I that's swear. enough. Thanks. Ciao. I don't know me. Excuse me. I didn't mean to swear. He made me swear. You know, I simply wanted to help the kid. <laughs> Here comes Giacomino. He's so punctual, that kid. You could set your watch. He always comes at this time. He works hard, the poor kid. Yeah. I'll bet you two to one the Rome team's going to win. Hello, Paul. Hello. Hello, Romo. Hello, Giacomino. Huh? How'd you make out today? All right. Excuse me. Not bad. Hey, hey. Giacomino. You know, I came to see your show. You're very good, you know. You're a chip right off the old block. I peeked during the show. I saw you there. Ah, people. Bravo. How about drinking this juice for me? Thanks. Vitamin C. Yeah. Only one I gave him, Giacomino, exactly the way I promised. These others came in here and uh, continued to fill up his glass. At this point, I noticed that after he drinks up the first glass, it completely knocks him out. Here, I'll pay you for his drink. Right. Thanks. Papa. Papa. <coughs> Papa, oh, come on. Let's go, Papa. Come on, wake up. Uh, no, go away. <laughs> Let's go home, Papa. No, 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 no. 
you go. I'll stay here. Go, go, go. Oh, come on, Papa. It's late, you know. Let me go and help you. Nah, leave him alone. Jack Amino can manage. You mind your own affairs. Ciao, Paola. Ciao. 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 Come on. <laughs> Every day this... Here. Oh. You know, Papa, tonight we're having a couple of beefsteaks. Beefsteaks, huh? Well, everyone says you gotta eat it. <laughs> To make you good and strong. That's right. <laughs> Let's go, Papa. You get dinner. Oh, I got it. Hey, look, I'll, uh, I think I'll go out and get freshened up a little. Bit. Go on, take your time. Tonight's dinner is kind of complicated. No, no. Meat's for you. Meat. I'll have cheese and bread. Oh. No, Papa, we'll split it. Huh? It's big enough for two. Mm. A little piece. Give me that one. No, 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 no. This one. This one. <laughs> Thank you. Smells good. I mm, went. Don't you? Don't you ever speak with I your know, mouth but... full? You chew, 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 chew. When you swallow, you can talk. I went to give our good wishes to Mama. What? Being in Sophia and Maria, I thought I'd visit the Madonna and light a candle for Mama. Ah, eat your food. You know, I used to buy her beautiful presents on her name day. And did she ever give you any presents for yours? Of course. Of course. Why? You hear me? I'm 
one. Why? Now! But in the house, we don't keep wine. Papa, you gave me orders not to. Don't you ever speak to me that way, young man. I'm your father. Yes, Papa. I'm your... Go to the bar. home too late, please. No. Mm. 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 Twelve and nine are twenty-one. That's where I collected with the marionettes. And over there on the square, I won five hundred from the old man. Madonna Maria, thanks, because you helped me to make a whole lot today. Did you hear? That kid at our puppet show, when you hit me over the head, he yelled, give it all you got. You like that, eh? And you, Punchinello, when you made the Fat King trip, you felt like a big salami. <laughs> and what a bad king you are. Ooh, you got a nice scratch there on your nose. You better patch it up right away. Starting tomorrow, we're beginning a new funny play. I'll take off your crown and put on a large sheriff's hat. Because you're a good cowboy. <laughs> You'll be the fellow that beats up everybody. Same as in the cinema. And if you don't quit your shooting around, you'll find yourself six feet under the ground. Under the ground? Don't forget you're talking to Terrible Bill, who's faster than any gunman that's out to kill. And I'm Sheriff Deathbar. I represent the law. Take it easy there, Sheriff. You forget. I've been nicknamed Prohibited Punch, Prohibited Pistol. And so I'm prohibited. And now I prohibit your fat, big, bragging mouth. <laughs> Go and call a doctor, will you? He won't come too. Come on, anybody ring up for an ambulance? She's right. Maybe it's something serious. Yeah. I just sent my brother to call the hospital. Don't worry, Wait. an ambulance will be here in a minute. Oh, my. Transfusion, hurry up. Yes, doctor. They advise the family? I imagine they have. You know if they've been called, nurse? I don't know. What do we do if we have no parents? We'll go ahead with the transfusion. I have a papa, you know. And a mama. Why, sure, son. We're having them notified. Don't worry about it. It won't be long. They'll be here, Giacomo. Giacomino. Giacomo will be called as an adult. <clears throat> the boy will have to stay here. Tell them in the office they've got to find room. This is an urgent case, understand? I understand, Doctor. It's impossible here. 
Let's try the next floor. I doubt if it's any better there, Doctor. Do you know little Giacomino's father? He's right there. Thanks. Say, are you the father of Giacomino, the boy who runs the puppet show? Yeah. What? He must have felt sick. He fainted in the street. We had to take him to the hospital in an ambulance. Ambulance? Yeah. What? He's at San Filippo's hospital. San Filippo's? My God. My God. Thank you very much for your nice visit. Would you please help me to get well fast? Very serious. His incredible stamina was due to his youth. The young are stubborn fighters. Watch us down. No, 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 no. Go on. In other words, the child refused to let himself become ill and used up all his energy fighting it. Inadequate feeding leading to acute malnutrition has produced disastrous organic weaknesses which we can no longer control. Well, why didn't I see it? Yes. You should have remembered that you are a man and he is only a child. So what's going to happen to him? We'll do everything we can. We are doing everything we can. But, uh... He's gonna die? Oh. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, not him. Not him. Not him. Not him. Your boy is resting now. Why don't you come back tomorrow? Come. Shh. It's my blood pressure that he's measuring. A few more seconds, Giacomino. Uh -huh. Papa. Giacomino. To behave. And obey Sister Maria. And obey Sister Maria. She's Sister Maria. You feel better, Chichi, huh? He is better now, isn't he? Of course, yes. to make believe you're a marionette and keep your tear fossils from running. Will you promise me you'll do that, Papa? Huh? And now, young man, I'm going to steal your father for a moment. Please, come with me. All right. But you know my Papa's first name isn't Juan Antonio. It's Burns. I thought you told me his name was Antonio. No, his name is Burns, because he returns. <laughs> Come. <laughs> and now I'm giving you your injection, huh? Where, in the arm or in the back, sister? In the rear, in the rear, so you won't even see it. 
Are you pleased? You won't hurt me, will you? No, I don't think so. I'm afraid. No, I don't want it. I don't want well, it. No, I no. have to give it to you. Remember your promise. And if you're a good boy, I'll give you a nice comic book to read. Come now. All right, give me the injection. What would you like to read? Maybe Dybok. Hey. <laughs> well, what about you, for the love of God? Why can't you help him? Why? All we can do is try to make him happy for the time that's left. Your son is an extraordinary child, you know. It's as if the pain, the disease itself, had hardly touched him. You should be proud of that boy. He shines. The goodness shines out of him. He's the purest creature I've ever met. Something happened last night that Sister Maria told me about. Sister, I have a secret I'd like to tell you. A secret you do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Fine, but try not to talk too much. In the kitchen in my house, I got a treasure, you know? No, I don't know. Yeah. And I want you to know it's hidden in an old box of cookies. And what is it? What is this hidden treasure? What do you bet, Sister Maria? I'll never guess. <laughs> Your toys, what else? My savings are treasure. It's worth as much as a pirate's. Or maybe more. You mean the money that you saved? I worked hard for it, though. But, but why? Only grown-ups should work, not children. That's not right. I was pretty scared my papa would die from one minute to the next, you see. And for that reason you worked. Well, I thought that if it happened, I decide that when he goes to see God, that he should go with all the honors, with a beautiful suit and a new shirt and tie, and lots of flowers. And the money you saved was to get your daddy a suit? Yes, that's right. Oh, and with the treasure I saved, I was going to buy my father also a new pair of nice suede shoes. He always likes suede shoes. And when God opens the door and sees him, he's sure to say to all his angels, what a nice handsome man. He's got a good-looking papa, that Giacomino. Listen, Papa, you know I'm not scared, but you know... Well, I'll leave you alone. Giacomino, if there's anything you want, press this button. Mm -hmm. All right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sister. Well, well, Chi-Chi, you were saying. What? What? Well, Papa, I just wanted to... <clears throat> Well, you know. You're about me. Yeah. I just brought one candle to Madonna Maria. But, oh, if you could try to bring your others. Chi-Chi, we'll do everything we can to bring her back. You'll try to find her, really? I promise. And there's another thing. What? But I don't know if I lost it, Papa. What, Chi-Chi? My card with the marionettes. Oh, yeah. They got, they brought it back. It's in our courtyard now. Papa. Please, I want you to look after the marionettes. Boy, how cheap, Papa. I've been thinking of the bambini in the park who go crazy for the theater. You should see. Would you do the marionette show? Who, me? No. Please, Papa. All right. Oh, thanks, Papa. You'll be marvelous. You'll be great with the marionettes in the park. But not as good as you. But I'll try. I... Please, Papa, I don't want to see you suffering. You mustn't cry, Papa. Please. Me cry? Are you kidding? I want to sleep. Yeah, sleep. We agree. Uh, huh, shiny? No, not very, like you said. He'll bring them all. Thanks, thanks a lot. I hope you finished today, Signor Giacomino. Thank you very much. These business oh, transactions. I'm now. Oh, I'm so pleased. Are you taking me downstairs? That's right. You have to get analyzed. We going in the elevator? Yes, Your Highness. Right away, Your Highness. Got your reading material, Your Highness? 
And where did you get that? Sister Maria. Oh, good. All right, what do I owe you? Nothing. Why? Because it's my gift. For your son from me. Thank you. Arrivederci, signora. Be a good boy now. And promise me you won't get overexcited. Hmm? But I am a good boy. I mean, I try to be. Possible, and it's not up to me. But for him, it might be the right thing to do. Deep in your heart, can you really say no? Well, I'd be taking a terrible responsibility. Very well. We'll get Giacomino to it. Most of you, please wait outside so there won't be any confusion. All right, well, let's go out quietly, no. please. See you at the circus. <laughs> Remember, there are many sick people in the house. Quiet, quiet, please. Quiet. What's in that, I wonder?
Who are all these people? What do they want? I have no idea. What are you doing here? We're here to visit Giacomino, doctor. Uh, Dr. Monforte, we're all going to the circus. I don't know what to say, except I couldn't say There's no. There's a condition. I know, but I couldn't deny the childless great joy. But we couldn't possibly let him go. It's madness. But he's so happy and so full of life tonight. And he's not the only one. Doctor, will you come to the circus, too? Listen, Giacomino. Oh, thanks, doctor. What a fun over the circus, really. All right. They'll say I must have been out of my mind. But I'll explain to the others. And you? I'll explain it all to Jesus. I know he'll understand me. Well, shall we go? Signore, please, what are you doing? It's late. The people have left. The next show is tomorrow. Come tomorrow night, then. What's your name? Giacomino. Giacomino? Do me a favor, please. I'd love to see your lions and elephants. You bet. You bet. Go and be seated, friends. Just be seated for the time being.
Are you happy, Giacomino? You know my name? Of course. I know all about you. Say, you know the names of my papa and my mama? Oh, yes. But who are you? I'm just a man who sells balloons. But how come you know all about me? Oh, balloon sellers know everything about everybody. No, it's impossible. They do, I assure you, Jack Mino. But how come? Well, I tell you, it's like this. Sometimes, pretty often, in fact, the balloons slip out of the children's hands and then away they go, sailing up into the sky till they reach the Lord up in heaven. And there they tell him everything that happens here on Earth. The balloons don't speak, though. Oh, yes, they do. Not as you or I. Their voices are silent, and the only one who understands them is the Lord. He's the only one who can talk to them. And he talks to them about all the things in the universe. But I think... I told you, the Lord's the only one who knows their language. How come you know it, then? Oh, I... I just know it. But if you can't speak their language... I can understand them just the same. But only the Lord could possibly understand them, you said. Then how come that you can, too? Well, that's a secret between the Lord, myself, and the balloons. I don't believe it. I really don't. It's true, Giacomino. Ah, then you're a magician. No, I'm not a magician. I'm just a man who sells balloons. You wouldn't lie to me, I hope, would you? No, Giacomino. No, really? Really. But when the balloons float up to heaven, do they see the angels when they're talking to the Lord? Oh, yes, certainly. Although not all the angels are up there. Lots of angels are here around you, Giacomino. Right here. Right now. Yeah, that's a fact. You know, there's Mama, Papa, Sister Maria, 20 years, even the doctor. The friends that come to visit me, they know my Papa. And those are the circus, too. And you, Jack. 